Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be talking today about something I actually found on the Eight Passengers Snark thread over on Reddit. Now, last time we had even heard or it had become relevant again was when Shari Frankie basically came out and she was doing this podcast all about her faith and it was called Touch the Light or Into the Light or something. I'll leave it up here. I've talked about it in pretty much the last thing ever related to the Eight Passengers a few weeks ago. Um, where she was basically explaining in fewer words and you know in, in as few words as possible that she was in this sort of like group that they had to like pay for with the family and it just put her in an ultra toxic minds mindset wasn't great and then i think like some things within my family were happening that i started to question like i don't know if this is okay like i don't know if god would actually support this like is this really the gospel i was just debating i was like i don't know what to believe there's been a lot of like parallels drawn to was this a connections page is this what her mum does now shari no longer speaks she's not in contact with her mum at all um and her mum is of course ruby frankie off of the eight passengers and supposedly her her and her husband are now split up and her kids a lot of them do not talk to her anymore. Her and Jodie Hildebrandt run, run this page called Connections Page. I'm sure a lot of you are already aware by now. This is why aggression and evil has dominated our world. Because there's too many of us that want to live in truth that are not standing up. And on there, they just spout absolute nonsense. I've actually forgotten a lot of the stuff they talked about. They come out with all sorts of stuff. Like, they, they honestly, they, they're, very, they're very against just pretty much anything everything is a distortion they make sweeping allegations all about eating disorders and how eating disorders is just not you living in your truth don't just wake up and have an eating disorder out of nowhere there have been decisions that she's made in distortion line upon line upon line you're being deceitful they talk about unplanned um, pregnancies as if they're the plague my daughter ended up pregnant or i don't want my child to end up pregnant it's like well there's no such thing if you if you end up pregnant then you had sex first or if you were pregnant you you were taken advantage of and what did you do to put yourself in the situation where you're being taken advantage of they 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 go all out they are very discriminatory over pretty much anything that isn't exactly what they say. We're so excited that you're with us and we have this image and this desire to have an army of mothers and fathers, men and women, teens alike, moving forward throughout this planet and learning how to live principles of truth so that they actually have this beautiful outcome of connection. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. If you go onto the Jody Hildebrandt reviews, which I have done, I did that a little while ago, if you go on and read the reviews, some of the reviews back from when she used to do more like her marriage counselling details her literally, literally splitting couples up, like isolating the couples and isolating the women away from the men and making the men feel worth it. It's, it's an ultra strange situation. And we have also seen a few reviews which are a bit more recent, people saying similar things about the connections. Now, how this all ties in together, right? How this all ties in together was because I was doing a little bit of snooping on the eight passengers snark credit thread. I got a little notification and I thought this is this is quite interesting. I have been kind of steering well clear of it because at this point it's just like giving them attention is what they want. They what they want, they want and they thrive off the attention. I'm surprised they have any paying customers but i suppose people just want to believe in something and their little cult like thing over there which by the way i was very hesitant to ever call it a cult but the thing is is that shari basically draws huge parallels to what could have been the start of what the connections is what you know it, her and the family say that they don't agree with what ruby's thoughts are on things it does sound extremely cult-like and i'm sorry it does it does and just listening to like her daughter just details i was a bit like yeah i'm just i'm just gonna stay well clear of this anyway i had a little look on the reddit thread and this is what somebody said now i don't know if this person has actually been verified or not so it could just be like poof like 
someone making it up although i'm not really quite sure why they would this reddit thread isn't really that i don't know it's not as popular as it once was and i just don't really understand why anyone would make up stuff like this but then again whatever i'm, I'm sure it will get verified soon enough if the person wants to be verified and be vetted and things but i just wanted to give this a little read it's basically someone detailing an experience that one of her friends is having where they've basically isolated themselves after doing the connection solitude program I don't know what the solitude program is. Please help Connection Solitude program. Has anyone heard of the solitude thing? I have a friend who has been in the connections group for over a year and I've seen the extreme negative effects that it has had on his self-esteem and overall happiness levels and it seems to be destroying his marriage. Okay, just pause it right there. The reason why I, I, I kind of am buying this is the fact that um, if you read the Jodie Hildebrandt reviews on when she was literally a marriage counsellor, the amount of people that say that it nearly tore up their marriage or it has in fact caused them to separate and it's made the woman just go on this complete mission to hate her husband is mind boggling. Honestly, I was invested. I was invested in this whole storyline for like a good few months. I couldn't get enough of it because I was like, how is this happening in broad daylight? Anyway, it just seems like and even to this very day, Jody and Ruby will basically find couples and just sever the ties. It's so weird, basically try and get these women to like live by the same rules. And if you are a part, which I actually was a part, I'll stop rambling in a minute, but I was actually a part of the, um, the like secret Facebook group. You do not want to go onto there because it is just filled with, it's just like, it's just, it's just hateful on there. But they're basically just charging up a load of women to like do one very cult-like. Things recently went up 10 notches when he sent out texts telling his family and friends that he will no longer be communicating with them at all and that he wouldn't be communicating with his own wife either. It has been about two months since anyone has heard from him. He didn't even call or text his mum for Mother's Day. He says that he is doing a time of solitude until his connection with God has improved. We are all extremely worried about him, but he has explicitly told everyone to not try to reach out to him or contact him. Any advice would help greatly, especially if anyone has information on this solitude program, thanks in advance. The way that I think about all of this and the reason why they might not want to advertise this whole like solitude program is, you know, a bit like Scientology, right? Which I'm really going to try and not get into because I'm going to be completely real. I don't understand it. I just know that you there's like different levels of it if you know what i mean they don't just advertise these kind of things to you straight away you have to like pay in and then you then get like higher up and on different levels do you reckon this like solitude program is for people that have like been on the been in the system for a little while i just find it greatly interesting then it's basically just like going to him her i'm not really quite sure going to and fro um yeah, I'd love to hear if you have any insights. This is 100% legit and I can't find anything on Reddit about the solitude thing. Then someone else wrote, it sounds like something they would do, but I don't know if I've ever heard them refer to a solitude program. When you say they have been in the connections group for a year, do you mean they have taken the classes and actually paid money or just a part of the Facebook group? Does this friend have connections with the Frankie family? And then the poster replied hey thanks for reaching out yeah he's been doing the thing where he gets us three phone calls a day every single day for a year i'm not aware of the frankie family i'm definitely an outsider just trying to learn about this now i didn't even know what his therapy group was called until very recently see this is really telling me that it's not just someone coming in and like trying to stir the pot this generally sounds and i know you can't get you can't under you you can't fully know who it is obviously i know that but it just sounds like someone who's really quite concerned and they've now got an idea about connections whatever they're basically put in two and two together once again it could but whatever i'm gonna treat it like it's real three phone calls a day now i do remember them saying that they do have different programs where some are like more invasive than others. I remember covering this kind of stuff way back when. Um, their whole entire thing just sounds way too overly invested in your life, which is exactly what Jodie and Ruby want. 
I still to this day do not understand how they really make any money because a majority of people just look at their website, look at what they talk about, read the reviews and go, uh, I don't want anything to do with this. This sounds very cult-like. Um, so who who is signing up to this thing? Who is signing up to this thing? If this person's being truthful and his friend has just like completely just knocked him out, I do honestly think that if you are a part of the connections group and you're that entrenched in their teachings, which it is basically teachings, is, is what they say, if you're that involved with them, I do think it will just be like a tier system. It will just be like, oh, you've got on to like the next stage of whatever. It couldn't be me. It, it couldn't be me. I don't think I'm not gullible enough for it. And I just, I, I just wouldn't, I, I wouldn't. Also, can you imagine the money? The amount of money it would cost for like three phone calls a day. Anyway, so the poster then goes on. And then there's a few more comments in, but I'm just gonna close off with what the original poster was saying. Thank you so much for the response. I would definitely say it's drinking the Kool-Aid in this situation because he told us that his group will be his only contact outside of work and LDS church. It's extremely hard to know though what's going on because he didn't communicate anything other than telling us to not reach out until his connection with God is better. Here we are two months later and still no end in sight. But yeah, to answer your question, it seems like this is definitely part of connections still. It is just throwing me off because nobody else seems to know anyone who has gone through the solitude thing. I just think this this is wild. And bear in mind, I'm not a religious person, but what I'm gonna tell you right now is I've watched enough of Jody and Ruby rant and it's not anything like maybe yeah maybe they started off as mormons once upon a time but i'm telling you it's not that now it, i don't know what they're teaching you and most people can't quite work out what it is they're teaching you like is there is this is, there, is god somehow still entwined in all of this i don't really know they do bring it back to a very godlike figure but it kind of feels like they've just rewritten their own little religion and just gone off with it. That is just from me, an outsider, not religious person looking in. I think maybe it started off being a bit religious, but now it feels like they're literally creating like their own religion. I'm telling you, it's like a cult. They're just creating their own thing. Solitude, like keeping you away from other, oh gosh. This has happened consistently. Read the reviews. I will leave the reviews for Jodie Hildebrandt's marriage thing in the comments in the pinned comment you can go and read them absolute wild ride of a read because you just can't quite believe that this person's still going on she literally had her marriage license revoked back in 2011 or something because she she was out there you know running her mouth telling stories about the guy that she was um helping anyway i yeah i i'm just like flabbergasted but i kind of do choose to believe this redditor and even though i don't have like sufficient proof i've watched enough of the stuff and i've read enough of the reviews and i've heard what people have to say who have actually paid and done some of the connections courses it sounds pretty on brand but anyway if you really 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 liked it please remember to like comment and subscribe i don't think i've ever said that ever on one of my commentary videos but yeah just go for it go for it have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world take care of each other take care of yourselves and i'll catch up with you guys in the next video care at all however you expect just a handful of us to stand up to this aggression and evil this is why aggression and evil has dominated our world because there's too many of us that want to live in truth that are not standing up so please, at a minimum, please, uh, I, I don't understand why you won't do it. Go on to Moms of Truth. There is a link underneath every single video that says, give us a review. Click it and give us a five star, please. It will get our rating back up. And I can't stand Google.